So I recently went to a yard sale that had comic books and I got comic books at a yard sale. Stay tuned and see what I got. What's up everybody? I am the Dude Without Fear. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. So over the Labor Day weekend, I saw this post for a yard sale that had comic books. And in the post, I only saw two comic books. And I was like, you know, I've been to estate sales and yard sales before where they say they have comic books and they have like five comic books and they're garbage that no one wants. But I was like, mm, I'm, I'm gonna try it out. I wanna see, I'm gonna see what I can find. So I went after I shipped off an order, I uh, left the post office and headed down to the yard sale. And as soon as I parked, I saw the comic sitting there, or at least what was left of the comic sitting there. And I was like, how much you want for your comics? And he goes, I'm trying to get a dollar a piece for them, but if you buy a lot, we'll make a deal. And I was like, okay, cool. So I just went through and was looking uh, at titles, basically, and uh, publisher and spine, really, just to get a good, a quick synopsis of condition and what, what he had. And there were 31 comics. I said, okay, I'll get all these. Uh, but before I did, I uh, went looking and found some other stuff uh, that he threw in to include this free TV. Uh, I was like, how much for this TV? And he, this is, uh, the woman said, do you want me to pay you to haul it off? And I said, sure. And she said, if you want it, you can have it. And I said, does it work? She said, I'm pretty sure. So uh, I took it off their hands. Retro gamer, retro video gamers are all about these TVs. Uh, so I took it for that purpose, thinking maybe I could flip it, get a little money for it. Um, they're not, they just wanted it gone because it turned out it was actually in a state sale. Uh, so that's cool with me so I loaded that up and uh, found some other stuff so I don't even remember all of the comics I don't even I have I don't even remember any of the comics that were in there I remember the comic in the picture uh, on the listing but I don't even remember if I saw that comic in there so somebody may have gotten to it before I got there and bought some stuff that they wanted but I figured uh, we all love a good yard sale find. We all love these yard sale finding comic books at yard sales. If you're a collector and you find comic books at yard sales, it's just the anticipation of there could be anything in there. It's like the ultimate mystery box, right? And so uh, I'm going to show you my yard sale haul, uh, which aside from comic books and that TV, uh, also includes a. Gone with the Wind on VHS that's still sealed. Uh, that's why I bought it. I tried my hand at, at uh, flipping VHS stuff and it's not something I want to get into, but because that one is sealed, I bought it. So uh, let's take a look at these comics that I got. I got 31 comic books, I believe, and uh, a couple other things. So let's take a look and see what I got in my haul, and you can judge if I did all right. Uh, the original Ghost Rider rides again, number six. Uh, these are pretty cool. These are actually uh, the original Ghost Rider stories that were in Marvel Premiere, uh, and they just reprinted it in this so that you know you could have them. Uh, Dark Hawk number two that somebody paid. $12 for way back in the day. That's pretty crazy to me. Um, but maybe, it, I don't know. Maybe it was, maybe it's worth that. I, I don't know. I don't know much about Dark Hawk, but Dark Hawk number one's not in here. Makes me wonder if somebody got to it before I did. They were rolling in the Benjamins if they did. Uh, Amazing Spider Man number 386. I got it for 
half price. And I got it for less than a dollar. Uh, but finding Amazing Spider-Man for a dollar or under uh, is pretty dope. G.I. Joe from Dark Horse Comics, uh, number two of four. Uh, which I, when I saw this, I was like, Dark Horse did G.I. Joe, but my favorite, uh, that G.I. Joe cover that Frank Miller did that I like so much, that was Dark Horse Comics. So this is the second part to that, I guess. Also from Dark Horse Comics, The Mask World Tour, number 104. Pretty cool. I know a dude uh, that likes the mass comics so he might not have that one classic x-men number 17 pretty cool cover there the wolverine on it hmm. so this is 95 fleer ultra ultra prints with gambit it's like the trading card But comic sized, is it like a trading card on the back too? Oh no, it feels like it's stuck to the board. Oof. Please don't rip. Oh, I don't like this sound. Well, it's not stuck to the board, it's stuck to this polyethylene bag inside. Oh, gently. Ah, there's nothing on the back but a barcode, but that's pretty cool. I know nothing about those. Maybe they're worth money. One could only hope. Let me take this tape off before I put this back in this bag here. A few moments later. All right, next up, this is awesome. I used to watch this movie so much as a kid. Like we'd go to the movie store, the video rental store, and I would rent some movies maybe a video game but mostly movies and uh, I used to rent Meteor Man all the freaking time dude uh, how amazing is that I love it I'm I might keep that see that's what sucks about being a collector and a seller because when you find really dope stuff that you don't already have you want to keep it uh, this is Marvel Cards Universe 1994 uh, Venom. So that's kind of cool. I don't really know what it is, but it's pretty cool. I'll have to look that up on eBay. See what I can find about it. Uh, from Dark Horse Comics, we have Alien 3. Number two of three, cool cover. These Alien comics from Dark Horse had such beautifully ballin', awesome covers. Very cool stuff. Uh, another issue of The Amazing Spider-Man, number 376. Very cool. Cable, Blood and Metal, number one cable's first uh, solo comic the number one of a two-part miniseries very cool book i really love it uh that's good i always like to see that book uh here is a marvel tales featuring spider-man number 264 pretty cool cover this is a great book uh, i love this comic Wishes in better shape though, but Batman 424, uh, very good story. This is uh, if you're a reader, that's one to read. Oh, here we go. Punisher War Journal number 48. We've got quite a few war journals on the site. Glad to be getting more of them. Uh, Ultraverse, you don't want to hear that. Uh, number four, uh, Sludge. Never heard of that book. Well, it looks kind of cool, actually. But that Ultraverse stuff, 
And then that's going in the dollar bin, and we'll be lucky to buy it. Uh, I love this cover, uh, but Ghost Rider number 18, really rad cover. This is cool. Uh, Silver Age Classics uh, Showcase number 22, which is a, a reprint. Silver Age Classics. It's the reprint of the first appearance of Hal Jordan. That's dope. I love getting stuff like that. I love stuff like that. Uh, special double size 50th issue of Ghost Rider. I've never seen this cover before. It's really cool. It's one of those 90, 90s embossed foil covers. Pretty dope. Ooh. Malibu Comics. Mortal Kombat. Blood and Thunder. Number four. Pretty rad. The Sandman's Last Rites featuring the Sandman from Osmosis Pictures and Malibu Comics. I have no clue what that is. Terax number two. Here's another one of those ultra prints like that Gambit one. Uh, it's random. Uh, let's see here. Acclaim Comics, Valiant Heroes, uh, Bloodshot number four. Never seen that. From Image Comics, Wetworks number uh, 11. Yeah, another issue. Of the Amazing Spider-Man, what issues that? 370. Fighting the Scorpion. We got Classic X-Men number 24. Cool cover. I really like that old school X-Men Cyclops. Like I, I like that costume. That's the, just the blue and yellow is cool. Uh, the Terminator, Hunters and Killers, number 203. I may need that one, actually. Uh, what's this? Flare Ultra. Oh, cool. Okay. So, Flare Ultra Spider-Man Premiere Edition. Uh... I guess this is an advertisement for uh, Spider-Man cars cards from Fleer, uh, but this these are like uncut trading cards. You got Black Cat, Hobgoblin, Venom, and Spider-Man. Pretty cool. Hobgoblin's weird looking, but this is cooler. This is the same thing, uh, but this is Aerial Monsters. And you got all of them there. Uh, you don't have uh, the chubby thing with the eyes, but you got the Drumble, Ickus, and Oblina. I love our Avril Monsters. I, I love that cartoon. That's really cool. Uh, let's see here Catwoman number 11. Huh? Cool. Uh, Drew, number seven, signed by Sergio Ardonis, uh at 1995 Heroes Con. And here's the uh, signature on the back. Pretty cool. Actually, that's the certificate of authenticity. There's the, there's the signature on there. Yeah, to Josh, and then the signature. That's not 
that's not what you want to see when you have uh, signed comic books. Uh, this is a cool book. Ghost Rider number 40. The cover feels amazing. Uh, if you've ever held this book, it feels like an old leather book. Very cool cover. Uh, and then here's another Master Prince uh, giant trading card type thing. That is Gambit. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So that is actually all of the single comics that I got normal, but I got also these comics. Uh, they, uh, one of the old ladies there was a Barbie collector, and uh, she had this Barbie uh, prestige, or I'm sorry, pedigree uh, collection that contains. Uh, Barbie 1, 2, and 3, and Barbie Fashion number 1 and 2. So there's Barbie Fashion, there's Barbie. Uh, I'm crying, trying to, they look in excellent shape too, actually. Uh, if you're not familiar with these pedigree things, uh, basically in the 90s, they would get some comics put them in this package and say these are limited edition they would number it as you can see it's numbered here uh, number 8369 uh, out of series of 30,000 right so not super limited anymore um, but I guess back in the day that was kind of limited but the the only limited thing about it is the packaging really because when you take the comics out it's the same comics that you would have bought off the stand so yeah so I'm probably I'm gonna look up, I've been looking up to see value on selling it like this uh, but I'm leaning towards taking them out of this and selling them individually let me know in the comments what you think I should do in regards to that uh, but I thought that was a a good pickup considering Barbie movie was a big success and a big hit uh, and this is my favorite thing that I got there and the last thing that I got there um, determ trying to determine if I'm going to uh, keep this for myself um, I don't know but uh, very possible because it is the uh, Incredible Hulk fireside book uh, which I've never actually seen in person. I don't come across these too often, uh, but I have the Silver Surfer one by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, and I love it. It's very cool. It's like it's the Silver Surfer, but the story is different. And I imagine this is the same thing. This is a different take on the Incredible Hulk, but still written by Stan Lee. Uh, so very cool. It's very thick. You can see how thick that sucker is. The uh, Silver Surfer one. Uh, goes for around 50 bucks something like that in good shape uh, so I don't know if this is similar but uh, yeah I'm really excited to to have that I'm, I'm probably gonna wind up keeping this unless it's just crazy valuable but I don't I don't think it is so that is my yard sale haul you wanna know what I paid for it of course you do uh, for those 31 comics there's like three was there four like giant trading cards so around 30 comics uh, this Barbie set gone with the wind on VHS this thing and that giant TV uh, all that was 30 bucks pretty good deal most of that stuff's gonna go in the dollar bin which is fine because uh, I didn't pay a dollar for it but uh, I think I can make my money back easily on just a few items. So that's profit. Is it a lot of profit? No. But it's fun. And I take what I can get. I'm not going to be ungrateful for any opportunity I get to make a profit. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this yard sale haul. Uh, if you liked what you saw give me that thumbs up uh, subscribe 
and I'll have more content coming when I can. All right, y'all. As always, be excellent to each other. Remember, collect without fear, and take it easy.